Good evening, how's everyone doing? I like that, maybe it will work for me. I'm not Russ. Before I get into anything, would you guys like to see a card trick? This is called smoke and fire. If you see a black card, I want you to say smoke. If you see a red one, say fire. Is that doable? Yeah. Got it. You know what they call that? A pack a day habit. I've cut down. Are you sure? What? Fire. And for my next trick, okay, uh, let's try something a little bit different. Being a magician, there are a few things that we are not allowed to do. One thing that we are not allowed to do is to gamble in Vegas. Uh, once you become a magician, register with some of the uh, groups, your photo gets placed up on the wall and you are not able to gamble. I do like to partake in the roulette wheel. There's something about the wheel going round and round and the ball going round and round and it gets the number and you win. Something else I like, I like a good game of craps. Makes me feel a lot lighter. <laughs> when I uh, play craps, I actually take my own die. I don't take dice. I, I like to bring only one die with me. I, carry my die here in the hat. But when I go out, I cannot carry a hat with a die in it. It looks very conspicuous. Think, people think I might be up to something, which I would never be up to anything at all. <laughs> so what I put it in, I put it in to a big box. That is not conspicuous at all, is it? No. Perfectly normal, perfectly healthy, yes. So I take my box, and I take my die and I put it into the box. And as you can see, the die there. But if I have someone come up to me and say, Rob, what's in your box? And I don't want them to know, all I do is I go ahead and open the box. Uh, thank you. See, and if they want to see the other side, I just turn it this way. And this, yeah, if they want to see the other side, easy as that, easy as pie, right? Right? You, why, you guys don't seem too impressed by that. It's a, it's a great, a great thing, a great trick. No? No. Do you want to see the other side? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll show you the other side. Okay, so do you want to see the other side? Yes. Okay, see, all you need to do is ask and I will show you the other side, that's fine. Do you want to see the other side open at the same time? Yes. Yeah. There's, there's nothing in there. See, I, I can do this all night. Okay, do you want to see the other side? At the same time. Yes. At the same time. Yes. Forward to you all. Yes. See, if someone starts catching on where the die might be, I actually just make it go back home. Straight back to the hat. As many of you know, I am not a magician by trade, I am a male nurse. Cue the Fokker jokes now. Hello, nurse. Hello, Thaler. I don't swing that way, except Friday nights. Today is Monday, okay. Nurses and doctors must swear to the Hippocratic Oath when they take their licenses with the state. So when I took my license with the state of Texas, I had to take the Hippocratic Oath. Which, for those of you who don't know, the Hippocratic Oath was actually enacted in the 5th century BC by the Greeks. And it starts out by, 
by the Apollo physician, I will do this and so on and so forth, and it's paragraphs long. But the big thing that you must uh, swear to is to do no harm to other people. Most people don't want to do harm, and this is, people say this verbally, people think this out loud in their, in their words, but maybe subconsciously people don't, or people do want to hurt people. Hmm. Why don't you come help me? We're going to do a little experiment here. Would you say you're an ethical person? Yes. yes. I will take your word for it. I will stand over here just in case a Sue comes near me. Do you want to hurt people? I will take your word for it. Do you think subconsciously, maybe you might want to hurt people? Maybe you might get some joy out of some pain. Maybe you're Jeffrey Dahmer underneath. No. No? Good. We're going to try an experiment. We're going to see how, tr how true this is. I have, in my sexy case, Uh, it's sexy and I know it. That's a really bad joke, I guess. I have five envelopes. Would you check out those five envelopes there? Make sure there's no hidden assistants, no mirrors, no trap doors, no penguins named cilantro. Okay, no penguins. I also have five pieces of paper there. Would you check those out? No mirrors, no hidden assistants, no chains, no whips, no handcuffs. Those are at home. For Friday. For Friday with the fishnets. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna have you... That's not funny. It's the truth. I'm gonna have you hold on to those. On this one paper, I'm gonna draw a picture. Okay. A picture of a man. Every picture needs a name. Every man on a picture needs a name. Let's... Well, we'll, we'll do this an experiment. We'll make a stretch here. We'll call him Bob. Bob. B-O-B. Spelled backwards is actually Bob. So what we're going to do is I want you to take an envelope and put Bob in it. Okay, and then I will go ahead and seal it for you. Bob tastes good. Anyways, now go ahead and put a, a blank slip of paper in each of the other envelopes. I will lick them for you because you don't know where these envelopes have been. I do. <laughs> And next. Thank you. My tongue is getting a little tired. Personal problem, I guess. Thank you. So what we have here, we have five envelopes, one with Bob in it. We're going to shake, shake these up, and I'm going to give you a weapon. Have you, are you trained in using weapons? <laughs> Other than shoes, yes, I have a weapon. I am licensed in the state of Texas to carry this weapon. I will let you use it. Are you, are you, is that okay with you? We have notified, Russ, we did notify security that we will have the weapon here. Uh, it's okay with the lease? No. No. Okay, well, even better, even better. I have it right here. A hole punch. If you will hold on to that for me. You look a little devious there. What I will do here is I will shuffle these up.
you are going to take one envelope at a time until we have one envelope left. And we will see if subconsciously you wanted to harm Bob. Maybe you wanted to bob it, Bob. <laughs> there are five envelopes. You pick one, any one that you want. Do you want that one? You can change your mind. Okay. I don't want you to feel that I'm forcing anything on you. If that's the one you want, put a hole in it. Not that one either. Okay. <laughs> you could cut the tension with a hole punch. <laughs> There you go. Take another one. Put a hole in it. Another one. Oh, that was... And one last one. Either one that you want. That one's a good one, or that could be a good one. Who knows? Please, hand me. Thank you. I'm a little afraid of you with those. One envelope left. And you said that you're ethical, that you subconsciously do not want to hurt people. You want to reach into there. I don't want to pull it out. You're not as mean as you look. You can take that home. Yay. Souvenir. Souvenir. Thank you very much.